Trigonometry, a test question from IV test paper with a very simple solution. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel, absolutely free for the last 15 years, where you post questions, we provide you with solutions. Here is a brilliant question from our subscriber, which is on trigonometry IBHL test paper. Given the function f of x equals to cos x and g of x equals to tan x, where x is between 0 and pi by 2, these curves intersect at p whose x coordinate is k, where k is between 0 to pi by 2. Show that cos square k equals to sin k, part b is, show that the tangent to the curves at P intersects at right angle. Find the value of sine K in the form A plus square root B over C. Now let's see step by step how do we solve such a question. So we are given the two functions which are intersecting at point P and their X coordinate is K. We need to show that cos square k equals to sin k means f of x equals to g of x, f of x is cos x, g of x is tan x. So if you solve it, you can write cos x equals to sin x over cos x. And at P, where they intersect, x values k, right? So we can say cos k equals to sine k over cos k. When you cross multiply, you get your result cos square k equals to sine k. So that is how you'll do the first part, correct? Now, we need to show that the tangent to the curve at P intersect at right angles. So, so tangents will be derivatives, right? So, f of x is cos x. So, the derivative will be minus sin x, correct? And for g of x, which is tan x, Derivative will be secant square x. At x equals to k, the two derivatives will be minus sine k and secant square k. Now, if these are intersecting at right angles, means the slopes are negative reciprocal. So the product of both should be equal to how much? Minus 1, correct. So let's do that. So we have minus sine k times secant square k. That should be equal to minus 1. This is what we have to show, right? Only then they intersect, right? So let's prove this. Now, this is One over cos square k, right? Now cos square k, we just shown is equals to sine k, right? So we can write this as minus sine k, one over sine k, and this is indeed equal to one, correct? Because we have just shown that sine k goes to cos square k, right? So that is the substitution we made. And therefore, we see this is equal to minus 1, right? Sin k and sin k cancel, we get minus 1. So, their slopes are at right angles. So, we've done that. Now, the last part here is to find the solution. 
find the value of sin k in this form a plus square root p over c right so let's again begin with what we proved in part a which is cos square k equals to sin k cos square k can be written as 1 minus sin square k which is sin k bring them together sin square k plus sin k minus 1 equals to 0. So from here we can find it's a quadratic equation right. So we'll use the formula of quadratic equation where we know that x is equal to okay we'll use this quadratic formula. So in this case x is sine k right. So sine k is equal to b is 1 right. So it's minus 1 plus or minus b square which is minus 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is minus 1. So we get over 2a, right? Over 2 times 1. So that gives us the value of minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 4 square root over 2, which is minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2. So it's written in the form of a plus square root b. So a equals to minus 1, b equals to 5, and c equals to 2. Do you see that? So that is how we can get part c. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, be great. Thanks for your valuable time and all the best. Soon my book, Crack the Numbers for Future STEM Leaders will be released. If you want a sneak peek, send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Thank you and all the best. Who is this book for? Middle and high school students who want to go beyond the classroom? Future STEM leaders looking to develop problem solving and analytical skills? Anyone who loves math and wants to see its real-world applications in AI, physics, and engineering. Are you ready to explore the mathematics of the future? Crack the numbers for future STEM leaders. Sharpen your skills. Shape the future. Available soon. Visit our website to pre-order your copy and unlock your mathematical potential today.